John's 75 years old, 160 pounds in phenomenal shape for, for an older gentleman. And John, a lot of problems here. Not much snap. We want to rotate, drive, and snap, and you're just kind of barn door and swinging around, and you still haven't snapped, and then you roll up with a high finish. Look at Jason Magnum, Top D Marini Conference Pro. Watch how he rotates, drives, and snaps. But for you, the snap was so lack, lacking. The, look at how he's driving and snapping in one motion. That's He's trying to do that from the start because that's only a 30th of a second. So you have to really impress on yourself how early you have to start it and how violent and short and quick it has to be to the ball. Again, he still haven't snapped right there. Watch uh, Andrew Collins here. Rotate and drive, but he's trying to snap all this time, and it takes that long right there for the snap to catch up. So we can't do it soon enough, can't do it fast enough. One way we can enhance the snap is by lining up the knuckles, getting the, the bat in your fingers, not in your palms, your hands, and drop of the pinky. That's what most good pros do. So connection. Reach forward and bring your hands back so you coil the upper body as you're striding ahead, reaching the brace leg out ahead. And this is our first attempt on the bat on the hip drill, day one. And just watch, it looks like a yoga exercise. You kind of get into a deep squat. Uh, sometimes the drills don't make a lot of sense because uh, you're not doing the same thing that you do in the swing. But right here, we we um, use a rotational train, trainer to get the upper body and the lower body together. Look at the amount of torque and, and great rotation you have. You're actually rotating past 90 degrees, which is awesome. So we brought the knee back there as you wind. We wanted to reach the brace leg ahead a little bit with the body, get it out front, and then rotate. Great body angle, good rotation. The Frisbee is always a great tool to use. You can practice that at home. You have limited resources where you live as far as having a net in an open field. And Look at there, just a great rotation and um, good body angle back, something you can do at home. I like the throwing the bat drill. It's kind of dangerous, but what's the explosiveness in the hips? It really does a great job. So we started to work on the upper body. Now the snap, and look how you're rolling over. That's slow long and drawn out like your swing was. So we had to really work on getting it fast and staying in the next snap. The one thing you really started to work on was snapping from the start. And if you really drove the hands like right here, we isolated. It. So you did a better job when we were seated. Did a really nice job because you can take the hips out of there. So do about 250 of these a day, as much as you can take and watching TV. And again, it's a, you rotate your hips out of the equation. It's a drive and snap. And really focused on snapping from the start. Now here's backside. Look how much farther back your point of contact is. you gotta, you got to really explode from the start. The rotational trainer is great. And you can see here's a wind, a nice easy tempo, reach ahead, and then boom, explode into a snap on a higher pitch. So when we started out hitting here, just a phenomenal difference. Look at that. Uh, tremendous swing. Uh, hand path to the ball, snap, roll over, and then a one-hand release because you drove it. The one thing you still don't do is you're a little bit jammed on it, so we have to really work on that. Here's the X. Now, we wanted to work the X, and see how you have an upwards loopy swing? All these four tools that we use on the training, X, rope, shimmer stick, all force you into some, see your hand lifts up your hands at the end. They all force you into outside your comfort zone, and we see a lot of errors. But look at the jimmer stick there. That's just phenomenal. Four and a half pound jimmer stick. Then when you went back to the bat here, you're really snapping from the start and really trying to drive the ball with the snap of the hands. We worked on hitting the inside of the ball and trying to go up the middle and backside. You can see the side spin on that. If we get it a little bit more, let that point of contact come back just a little bit more, we'll get more side spin. And when you hit it to right field, which will be bread and butter for you, it's going to tail away towards the line and, and spin away from the outfielder. Just a great job. So it went outside, just a tremendous difference in the swing. Uh, right away here, your first swing though was was bad. You golfed it up, so we had to work and focus on that on that snap to drive it. Good swing there, not perfect, but but just so vastly improved. Uh, again, right here, the snap. Look at that. Uh, your snap's coming around. You a little bit early on it, but again, the swing is so remarkably different. It was great. A little bit, there's still a little bit of loopiness. You want to really drive those hands A to B. But it's a great cut swing and a great snap. You said you hadn't hit a home run over a 285 fence for about six or seven years. You had about five balls that would have traveled over that. And um, exit speed was vastly improved. Just a, look, look at here. You're a little bit jammed on driving the hands, but look at the snap. It's a great snap, and that's provide you with a lot of power. Yeah, snap and drive it up, okay? Good ball. Okay, now 
67 miles per hour. Coming out, we wanted to try to get a taste of what the swing was. You looked so good off the tee, but wanted to get a taste. You had more than a taste. You had some consistency in the second half here today. Well, what adjustments really brought the sweet swing to you here at the end today? Uh, focusing on getting my hands and snapping to the ball, the plane, whether it's a high ball or a low ball, and, and trying to snap early because I seem to be loopy otherwise. And, and you can't snap soon enough, can you? No, I can't snap soon enough. And you know, we always talk about rotation, drive of the hands, and then snap, you know, all done in one motion. And, you got to find the right balance point. For you, you thought to yourself, hey, if I drive the ball up as a line drive, that took care of the drive of your hands, and then all you had to make sure was your snap came quick and fast. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, I like the bets, and uh, 27 didn't seem to be too heavy. I don't know, maybe even 28, I'm not sure. Yeah, there's a there's a nice big sweet spot on this bat, and uh, you get a nice uh, feel back. When uh, you hit the ball in the sweet spot, it, it feels great.